Prepare yourselves for the sound of happiness, YouTube. Ah, doesn't that feel good? Well, this is BJ Black, and welcome back to part 23 of my Let's Play of Ahama Yui Castle Meister. I just have one thing to do, say before we start. They came out with version 1.03, so you may want to get that download if you've got the game. Mostly it's bug fixes, although there is one change. Here, the cage, which I previously stated would add 10 to the number of monsters you could capture at once. It's been upgraded to providing 20. Other than that, bug fixes, fixing typos, things like that. So we've got a lot to cover, so... Let's get to it. This is an evening setting. After the castle started to settle down and Avaro is still at work. So Avaro's up late and Fia's come down to visit him. See what he's up to. He's still fixing up the castle. Making connections with people is all well and good, but this as well will add power to our mission. So he tries to find some time to do it. Well, it's troublesome to be s having you stay up so late, isn't it? Of all, such a hard worker. <laughs> Fia's voice is betraying just a little bit of discomfort. No. Uncertainty. So, did something happen? Well, a little bit, but she doesn't quite remember. In case you had forgotten, Fia doesn't remember anything from before she met Avaro. Come on. So, it does bother you, Fia, after all. Yeah, just a little, after all. Come to think of it. Hesh, have you told Io and Mikeyu about your not remembering Jack? Well, now that Avaro mentions it, no, she hasn't. She wonders if she should. Well... This is Fia's problem, so Avaro shouldn't be butting in with his two cents, but he does think that if he if she properly explains her circumstance to those two, they'll be happy to be confided in. After all, we are going on a hell of a journey together. It could actually cause problems if we tried to keep people out of the loop. <laughs> yep. She sees the reasoning behind that. <laughs> Avaro says, Sorry, talking like I know how to fix your problems. <laughs> but she's glad. She wants to hear Avaro's thoughts on things. More often than she does, I guess. So when she gets the opportunity, she'll tell the other two about. So, how's the condition of the castle? Well, in a word, it's in bad shape. 
Almost like there was a battle. Hmm. Yeah. Basically. As I've always been checking into the status of everything around, it's become clear to him from evidence here and there that it isn't just deterioration from the passing of the years. But clearly somebody had also done something to stop its functioning. It isn't saying whether there was some kind of battle or whether it was sabotage, but I've always found some evidence of one or the other. And Fia, although she doesn't seem to be able to remember clearly, has some kind of memory of what happened. It seems like it's going to take a long time to fix this. And I've always going to have to get better at his work. Well, better with his crafting techniques, or it'll be really tough. Fia wants to know if once the castle is fixed and she's gotten to the god's haze, what they, what Havara will do after that. <laughs> What's this all of a sudden? She's thinking maybe she'll he'll leave her behind and head off somewhere. She said that in a kind of way like she's not talking directly to him, speaking to space while he is in the vicinity. Not to accuse him of anything, I guess. Hmm. What are you talking about? This place is Avaro's workshop. Once he's done fixing it, then he can start modifying it. Ho oh, ho, you want to start modifying my body? Don't say it in such a sketchy way. And sorry. That was a pretty good line, actually. Anyway, before that, in getting to our destination, the Infrelux Kingdom is going to get in our way. So worrying about what happens after is too early. First, we need to worry about getting there safely. Yep. We got to do our best in order to get there. Yeah, so is Avaro going to continue? Yep. He plans to finish the, all this stuff that he has marked. Don't push yourself too hard. If Avaro dies, everybody's gonna be be troubled by it. Yeah, they'll be troubled by it, huh? And that's not all. Phil will probably start crying. Huh. Well, in that case, I just can't let myself die, can I? But even if he does fall, she'll use her recovery magic to force him to get back up again. You should show... <laughs> Be more careful with your apostles, jeez. Be more respectful towards your apostles. She's 
She says Avaro is really important to her. So much so she would prioritize him, even if it turned the whole world uh, into her, her enemy. So, boy, you that'd get pretty noisy. All right, Chia says good night. All right, we've got work tomorrow, so you get get rested properly. <laughs> yeah, Avaro's one to talk, staying up late. So he continues working, and she goes to bed. Hmm. Oh yes, there are some things I want to do here. Since I got a bunch of green magic stones, green magic orb, I can make one of these. Man, I love having lots of potions in this game. I think I use this for something. No, I could have sworn. Ah, here it is. That's right. If I can make a lot of things that I can break down for upgrade parts, I'll do that. Yes? Ah, uh, yes. I made that upgraded stone for this and this. Looks like I can make them both. Hmm. I'm gonna call this an upgrade to the... Yes? ...other line formation item. So, taking things apart for shards. Hmm. Now, the reason for this is so I can upgrade that special bow we got in that cutscene earlier. I'm thinking maybe if we upgrade it all the way, it'll unlock the next step in a trade sequence. Although that's purely speculation on my part. There's something else, something else. Where is it? Ah, I made all these thieves' keys. That gives us darkness shards, which we don't have a lot of. And that would allow us to upgrade this once, because we don't have a lot of holy shards to go with it. And that's interesting. One more accuracy and one more dodge. But I'm going to use the holy shards on yes. Fia's footwear. Yes. Now, we got that upgraded shop built. Well, it's just a shop, I guess. So this will give us 25 gold per turn. Whereas before, I just got one command power and a tenth of a lightning resistance. The lightning resistance isn't going to matter for a while until I can gather up a whole point of magic resistance or whatever resistance, at which point it will have an effect on all my characters. Well, this sounds good. It sounds like somebody wants to join my party. So, anyway, after overcoming her hardships, she has arrived beautifully. Whoever this is. She's... 
Of course, her announcement is something like an explosion on the, the castle. And Fia has gotten wound up already. All right. If the both of you are going to be noisy like that, it's going to scare off our customers, so calm the hell down. But let's go see what it is. This is the wrong music for getting a new party member. So, someone we don't know, standing there, striking a grand pose, really. <laughs> So, she wants to know who's in charge here. She has arrived, but they haven't arrived to greet her, and that's rude. Yeah. Actually, who are you? No, okay, Fia will introduce herself. First, she's the master of the castle, her name's Fia, and the captain is Avaro, so they're both kind of important. <laughs> so, Fia named herself and Avaro before this person got to name herself, and she feels like she got the, is a bit regretful of that. I guess she wanted to go first. So, she accuses uh, Fia of being a villainess for shaming her like that. So, she's regretful and angry at the same time. She's kind of fresh. <laughs> This is Rishren Seri Raus Rauroso. That's a hell of a long name. Avaro doesn't think he can remember it. So, let's have somebody smart comment. Is Fia on smart person duty today? Nope. Fia wasn't on smart person duty today, it was Mikheyu. Rauroso, her last name, happens to be the name of the neighboring country. She wouldn't happen to be the ruler, would she? <laughs> so, Mikheyu was exactly right. She's a splendid kid for knowing that at her age, so Rishwin Staley is going to give her some candy. Have as much as she likes. Yo has one as well. And Fia has one too. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a ruler's duty to deliver blessings upon the people. But all the same, she accepts their gratitude, even though two extra people added on. Oh well. Boy, this spectacle has gotten a bit confusing. So, Miki observes that this ruler here has come by herself without any of her vassals or retainers or anything. Yes, she is traveling incognito. That's ridiculous. We've never seen anybody walk around so grandly and pretend to be incognito. Alright. She thinks that's a good sharp response. 
and she is getting to like Avaro a bit, so she asks him to become hers. Probably in the meaning of vassal, but hell, she seems like kind of an airhead, so she could meet it any old way. But it was a pretty bad invitation in Avaro's mind. So, returning to the greetings, she would like to thank them for giving her permission to enter. Oh, well, we didn't give you permission, you just came in on your own. Well, how rude of her. Hmm. And call her Risuenseri Sama. Apologizing and giving orders at the same time. Pretty nice. Alright, now we can get to the regular com to the important part. She asks if this is the Guaracuna company. And yep. Seems like news of our spectacles has gotten to the neighboring kingdom. Well, it's not a kingdom, it said. Just neighboring country. Could be a kingdom. Well, yep. There's a big mobile workshop, and it's becoming quite the topic of town. So, as a ruler, she decided to come down here and verify it for herself. By herself. If you're a ruler, you have vassals, right? Sure she does. She just left them behind. Why? Well, rather than indirectly getting reports, she feels that verifying this directly will give her better information. So, if it's important, she comes and does it. She comes and verifies herself. And, if she's by herself, she can take her time and do it properly. So, she's going to start with the questions. First, who is the one who is able to make this castle move? Navarro says uh, the power supply being one thing. Navarro is in charge of keeping the place running. So, So she expected it would be Navarro because apparently he has good responses to things. I don't know why Fia's making such an unhappy face. I mean, she got candy. So, she again offers to make of our hers and if they come under her mm, if they become her underlings in the name of the Rao Rosso territory no, Rao Rosso ruler the just by moving around they will not be restricted 
<laughs> Just by moving around, huh? Well, she seems to be a bit of an airhead, but she actually has a bit of a grasp of the problems they're facing right now. Yeah, and Fia's decided to butt in. So she can't let that go. Even now, Avaro's not being restricted. And she's got a bad way of inviting him in anyway. So, Fia's noisy. Yeah, we know that. And what she, who is she going on like this before? And uh, Rishren Seri is a ruler, and she's got some nerve talking to her in that manner. All right, so this is Fia. She is the goddess of connections and Avaro's master. <laughs> okay, a god, she says. Don't lie to her. To speak f falsehoods to her is so rude. The one who's rude is her, actually, because she's speaking to a god. Okay, first, that's a lie. Second, I'm a god. Second, that's a lie. Third, I'm a god. Etc., etc. All right, you two, enough of that. Riso and Tsuagubu, huh? Uh, you. <clears throat> Although you came here to invite us, Avaro is going to turn down your offer. After all, he is already Thea's apostle. <laughs> that means Avaro is Thea's. Apostle, huh? So, she'll let that off for the moment. For one, she'd like to confirm something. It seems there are no soldiers here. So she's coming to the conclusion that we are not connected to the Influence Kingdom. Well, yes. We don't intend to be their enemy, but they plan on, they're trying to steal the castle, so yeah, we're not getting along at all. And of course, if you try it, you're going to get the same treatment. At the end of this, Avaro calls her Rishu. Rishu-san, specifically. So, she says that's a good response. And she will give Avaro special permission to call her Rishu as a pet name. This Aisho would mean nickname, perhaps, but pet name is a bit more better, a bit closer to the meaning. It's something you might call a lover. So, we've got a pet name for this girl and she hasn't even joined our party. Speaking of which, uh, aren't you going to ask her? Is anybody going to ask her? Am I just talking to myself here? So, Goddess of Connections, Fia. 
Risha and Sally will remember this. Well, Fia's not going to remember you. And she's not going to give her a vow. Hmm. Okay. So she's going to excuse herself. And she hopes that Avaro will come to visit her. Yeah. Rauroso territory. Interestingly, she's putting a bit too much sweetness into his name and calling him by the pronoun ana Anata, which is another thing you might call a lover. Well, whatever. So she leaves. That woman is like a hurricane. Ah, yeah, feels jealous again. Because she thinks that Risha and Sally has left a strong impression on his heart. <laughs> yeah, Mikio says that being the captain around here is really hard work for Avaro. And good work. Heel's still got a candy in her mouth, so she's slurring a bit, but the goddess starts to break when Avaro deals with women. You know, I'm going to say this, but as long as we're all on the same castle, you guys are kind of involved, too. Tiny girl to me, Tiny. Ah, uh, yep. I'm always tired. He just wants to go somewhere and sleep. So, in addition to Influce Kingdom, we got another one on our backs. Possibly. Well, she did say she wanted to make Avaro hers, and she's interested in the castle, but she didn't actually say she'd try to take it by force, which is a step up. Hey, more mega power for making more connections, I guess. What's that now? Five different girls waiting in the ring wings to join our party? We should go take care of one of them. But first, a cutscene. Oh, speak of the devil. So, this is Rosaline, and as you recall, she was hired by the yellow guy. Or, blackmailed into doing something for the yellow guy. Anyway, he's here too. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's acting all grand and speaking down to her for her calling him here. Well, she's completed the re the investigation of the castle as requested. And he can determine, he can judge for himself whether this, it meets his criteria or not, but she is giving the report. Oh. Well, first point, the girl named Fia definitely moves the castle. They, she and the castle have some kind of connection. And this connection is... So, 
So there are emplacements in there for moving the castle, or so she thought. But outsiders, or effects from outside, aren't able to take control. Uh, she did try while she was in there. In other words, as currently he stands, nobody but her can move the castle. Meaning, if he simply conquers the place, it won't move if he wants it to. And that's true. But conquering it is not without meaning. But you'd have to choose either to rule her or to eliminate her. So it seems like it'll be a big problem to wring what he wants out of this. How does this fear move the castle? So, yeah. So, the force that moves the castle is some power that comes out of the girl. When the power builds up, she's able to move it. How she builds up power? Well, she's not really certain as to how she does it. But it's not simply waiting until the powers build up. So how should she say it? I don't mind a speculation. Rosaline doesn't know exactly how this is connected to her building up power, but the girl is proactively going out and meeting people and connecting with people and trying to get their good feelings on her side. He speculates in reverse that that's simply her personality. So, his underlings have reported that they don't, the guys in the castle don't want to have any battles. So they simply want to be on people's good sides and not fight. So, she says he can forget about that speculation he gave her, she gave him. But still, the girl doesn't like other people to be suffering. That much is certain. <laughs> I see. So that's how it is. He's pleased with this report, and this gives him... This gives him a lever which he can use in his plans. Fear 
他者が傷つき悲しむ光景だ So he wants to put Fia in a state where she won't be able to move the castle To that purpose what he needs to do is harm other people and cause suffering Okay それを見ている間は城塞を動かすことに集中できないだろう If she's forced to view that kind of thing, then she won't be able to concentrate and can't move the castle. Right? Taking her information together, yes, she thinks that's true. Rosalina, できる限りの霊体を世に貸し出せ。それが決め手となろう。So he's going to ask for Rosaline's help again. To the extent is she able to she is going to have her spirits oh she is going to lend her spirits to him. Well he can use them as much as he likes. As much as he feels necessary. Give orders to this one, and they will move as you want them to. Hmm. The title of this character, who isn't saying anything, is the Masked Spirit. You may recall this noble woman looking one had a mask, but she had this long title. Well, it went to about here. Although she didn't have any lines. Well, no more lines than like that. If you looked at it when you fought her, she had just this ridiculously long title. I'm suspecting that this masked spirit is the other one in the upper right. But I'm sure we'll learn eventually. You <laughs> you need to cut the arrow. All right, he says he'll use it effectively. Data to me, she just never. Joe say no more. Kill Jama to the cotton a canoe. Nina has you. She high can go about to the steady time. Stay the cotton a car. Much I know. Okay, so if he commands the spirits. He should be able to interfere with the movement of the castle. Although she has tried to take the command of the castle, it is certain they'll be able to interfere. Although Rosalina admits she doesn't know what he is up to. やはり貴様は有能だな。Isn't this wonderful? As he expected, she is very usable. ご苦労だった、ソーレーシロズリーヌ。まったく、けなげな人形だよ、貴様は。So good work, Rosalina. Man, you are such a wonderful doll. そうね。ありがとう。Hmm. So she says thanks, my master. Or Mochinushi would probably be better translated to owner. Again, kind of giving the impression she doesn't have free will. But anyway, we're just here to see what happens here. So this is odd. Although we're in the labyrinth, it seems the wind is still blowing. Hmm. Seems like this isn't any kind of mine or ruins of mines. It's your pretty standard magical research setting, magical research facility. So, 
風から魔力を感じてたよね今も感じるっていうか前より強くなってる気がする So yeah it seems that the we felt magic from the wind before and even more than before it's gotten stronger Presumably she means the magic and not the wind because they were really complaining about the wind Yeah, this seems like a place where they did research on the flow of wind and water and not just that Have a look at this carved engraving. He seems like it's something uh, she should know something about. Ah. It's like faith and magic techniques are being synthesized. It's a pretty rare technique. So if you want to take a look and she's a bit disoriented because it seems like it's familiar but she doesn't remember very well. Yeah, it seems kind of familiar-ish. Like something like this happened before. Yeah, even if you ask Avaro, he doesn't know. Oh my god! You have another speaking part? This better be good though. So... Karin seems to remember uh, this smell. Yes, hug. No, oh, okay, wait a minute. She's happy to be hugged, but what happened all of a sudden? It's a similar smell, he says. Hmm. So, if it's reacting to Fia, and Karin says this much, that means it's another Yuiki, right? God, Fia, you're slow. Okay, in that case, this uh, will be quick. Since we've come all this way, let's meet them and see what they're like. Yeah, Afi agrees. She's interested in seeing what kind of cute girl, cute child will come out. Alright, she's going to call them out. Uh, yeah, Yuiki-chan. We're not scary, so come out. Yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Use blanks there, there is just underlying the fact that nothing happened. Alright. She's not going to try it just once, she'll try again. Well, okay. Yuiki-chan, Yuiki-chan. Cute, cute, cute Yuiki-chan. The goddess of connections has come to play. God, the stuff she says is so embarrassing to actually translate. 
Oh, and something actually came. Yeah, Mikio didn't think it was going to work, as expected of a god. He was surprised too. Alright then, let's see what kind of person, thing, came out. Hey, boobs. Okay, geez, we're noisy. What the hell is this since a little earlier? So we've been making noise for, what, five or ten minutes? And she noticed right away, but only now is it bothered her enough to get her to show up. <laughs> Okay, so for the first time in a long time she's got this familiar feeling that woke her up and she comes to see it and it's just looters. Well, thanks for coming. And it can't be helped. She's going to chase us off now. Wait a minute. We're not looters. Although we did kind of come here of our own accord and we planned on taking everything we could carry. Okay. We're sorry for coming in uninvited and we're also sorry for causing a ruckus. Come on. You too, Fia. She's sorry too. She didn't really think you'd be taking a nap at this time of day. So, she's a Yuki, right? Gee, she wonders. The way she says it somehow gives us the impression that we should be introducing ourselves before she'll give us her name. Erasoni. Huh. Okay. Sorry. Once more. Avaro says he's Avaro. And this one over here is Avaro's master, Fia. Alright. Sorry again. Fia says she's the goddess Fia. Alright. This is Ranrin Yuiki. See you later. <laughs> yeah, wait right there. What is it? We did our greetings, you can leave now. Oh, Cardin says he recognizes, knows, this smell. So, Ranin recognizes Karin as another Yuki. What's he doing here? Yeah, Avaro wants to ask Karin, is she someone you know? If she is, can you kind of convince her to... Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, Karin will try. And his idea of trying is to try and hug her. With his golem, I guess. But Ranin Yuki is much too fast to get caught by that thing. Gee, it's rude to go and try and embrace her, all of us, without any warning. Karin apologizes and asks if she is angry. So, it seems that she and Karin are related of the same family. 
And he's so... He... Yeah, he flinches a lot. Or is a bit jumpy. And he's so sad looking. So, she's come to the conclusion that these bad looters have forced him to come along with them. So, she's going to save him. That's a misunderstanding. Cotton is actually one of our allies. Well, even if we say so. Yeah. So, we can say whatever we like. They, we can say anything if we want to try to win her over. But she's going to confirm things herself. Jeez, this is such a strong old girl. I wonder if this one has also been tampered with like Kaharin was. Alright. Fia says we're going to pet this one into submission too. Recall the uh, the rod that subdued Kaharin is one she quote unquote pets people with. All right. This is relatively simple, except for closing the monster whirlpools. You'll see why in a minute. All right. Here's our magic research facility. And here's a whirlpool. And here's a whirlpool. And we don't have any characters that can get to them. Shutsugeki! Okay, so this is a battle. And our target, our main target, is Rarin Yuiki. She has a physical attack and a lightning attack, so we don't want to use anybody with lightning weaknesses, which includes Mikeu and Avaro. Oh, and Karin as well. So we're going to stick to the other two. Check it out, it's a selfie. When I was playing Mado Kokaku, selfies were one of my most used units. Yep, and Eo has lightning resistance, so let's watch this battle. Wait a minute. That's not a Sylphie at all. Her boobs are way too big. Oh, I should have checked to see if she was worth capturing. Okay, capture check. One star, lighting, female, spirit. Nope. Not useful at all. No, who wants to die? Looks like you want to die. Unfortunately, Eol is not very well suited to tanking. Okay, 
but then now there is Fia. And next turn we should get up there. Ah, the old is weak against fire, however. Eight damage, two attacks. She'll be alright with this much though. Saka! He didn't even hit her. Alright, with this, we're in range. And all hell breaks loose. Huh. Well, may as well. It's not the most effective attack, but it's something. Now, as for the all hell breaking loose, these suckers can move four spaces. So this one will attack Eel, this one will attack Eel, and this one will attack Eel. Ranrin might attack Eel, but she also might attack Fia, which would be more convenient. Interestingly, Ranrin doesn't have a melee attack. She's got a bow, and she has this ranged magic. So Eo could attack her without any risk. Haha. <laughs> well, I don't need to kill it that badly. <laughs> Alright, here's the first one. Now if I just fight back against all of them, he will eventually get overpowered. So I'm going to defend against one or two. Hmm, she's doing alright for now. But her dodge rate does make her moderately suited to tanking. If you rearrange her equips properly, I think you can get her dodge up to 70%. Oh, well how about that? Fifteen damage. 15 damage. Now the bow has a special ability attached to it, and I haven't seen it activate when she's using magic instead of the bow, but it would be better if it did. <laughs> anyway. Alright, even though she warned us off, we're gonna come and attack her anyway. We must be pretty bored. So if you're going to fight, then she's going to get serious. Although I have yet to hear her voice anything seriously. Sounds like she's gonna fall asleep any moment. Ouch. Hey, another selfie. Oh, uh, yeah, another not selfie. Alright, now we're going to use this ability to knock her out and... Right, this is the Wind Spirit's Necklace. It'll increase our lightning resistance. Alright, stop it, stop it. She gets it already, so stop. 
well, she'll just all of a sudden attack us and then all of a sudden stop. Well, if you want to stop, then good. <laughs> so, you finally felt like coming and talking with us, huh? It seems she thought that there was something wrong from the beginning. Uh, something a bit off from the beginning. So, she had to confirm it. And just because she was confirming it, we get when it got all serious on her. You take so little seriously, I feel like just slapping you. So, she accuses Avaro of being serious. So he asks what that's supposed to mean. Uh, so, she tells him not to get angry at her because she's finally come and recognized him. He's not angry. Yes, he is. Oh, this conversation is going nowhere. And since the conversation is going nowhere, let's get there faster. Fear here seems to think that these two are getting along quite well. No, we're not. Don't worry, it's fine. And Ronin's gonna play this up for drama just because... Well, she's doing it for shits and giggles. So, Fia's getting jealous because Ronin's pretending to be interested in Avaro. Okay, Avaro tells Fia to stop getting these stupid misunderstandings. <laughs> Ronin said the, says that Avaro is... He, she is getting more and more fond of Avaro. Yeah, this conversation is going nowhere. She is just playing that for all she can do. All right, Fia does say something interesting. Although it's bothering her. She says it's all right because Avaro's gotten the Yui key to, well, at least interact normally with us. Mikio's thinking that she can't really get into this conversation. He also says it's all right for them to just watch. From this point on, it's up to the goddess and the captain. So, Ron Yuki, do you intend to be... Do you intend to oppose us any further? Well, no. No more opposition, but that doesn't mean she's unconditionally becoming our friend. Alright, let's hear it. So, she can tell us, but what does she get? Right now, they're basically negotiating for her to lend, their, lend her power to us. And Avaro says that in return, anytime she is in trouble, we can lend a hand to her as well. 
それじゃあ一晩私の下僕になって She's decided that for her payment she's going to have Avaro as her servant for one night Servant? All right then So She's going to have him do running her silly little errands for a night As a couple of example tasks One is to lick her feet Another is to be bound up with rope spire Well Huh Avar says Alright, I got it If that's what it takes Uh, yeah, fear the jacks. <laughs> okay, Avaro says he's fine licking the feet of a spirit. Which says he's either perv or he really doesn't have a lot of self respect. Anyway, if he does it, she'll become our ally. <laughs> She says she isn't going to be our ally. Well, we only asked for lending a hand. Okay, so if we do do this thing, I'm always just overthinking this. If he becomes Yuiki's servant and Yuiki is Fia's servant, and furthermore, Avaro is Yuiki's Sifa's Fia servant, and furthermore, the Apostle of Fia. Oh, come on. Slap yourself. Actually, come over here. I'm going to slap you, and then you can slap yourself again. So. Ronin's asking if she if we are going to do what she wants. Avaro him has. Alright, Fia's making the call here. Negotiations are over. And by her authority, we're putting an end to this. Alright, run in Yuki. Fi is going to seal you. And if we have use for you, we're going to call you out, so cooperate. She'll do it if she feels like it. But if Avaro has use for her, she'd be glad to. Later, losers. New unit. <sighs> All right, so. Now we finally have a flying unit. This is going to be nice because we can't reach those pillars out in the four corners of the room without her. Alright, Eel is still doing good. I let my guard down and got Eel killed during my Tarayo run. But it won't happen to you on camera for you guys, YouTube. I want to show you the best gameplay possible. Speaking of which... Healing potion. Ha ha ha. Yo, lightning resistance. Although this is probably the smartest thing they could do. Because it means Yo won't murder them.
Case in point. Alright, a lightning beast's fang. Claw. Silthy! Oh, back to normal animations. Normal battles. Alright, lightning attack against Eel. Yeah, it's like she wants to die. Hmm, this is rare, but we've gotten it before. Lightning Spirits, Spirit Shard, Soul Shard. Hmm. I'm sure there's something we got it from, but it doesn't come to mind. And here we can see them trying to make a lightning attack against Fia, but she's got crazy magic defense. And then magic damage reduction after that. Oh, haha. And with Yuiki standing behind her, they usually lose half of their attack anyway. Those guys have pretty good dodge, but they can't really hurt Karin, so even if they dodge all the times... <laughs> Lightning Beast's Fang! I tried to say that the first time I got an item from them, didn't I? Hmm... I need to capture one of these. And Avaro is not going to be able to fight it effectively, so I'll just move on two spaces. Alright, get over here so I can kill you. Observe the Sylvia walk right past Ramin. This is another one of those instances where... It knows that it can't hurt the character in front of it, so it just walks right by. Hmm. This isn't a bad level up, per se. I prefer attack to defense, but it's not bad. Lightning Beast's blood. Yeah, Ranrin isn't w very well set to attack Sylvie either. Hmm. Well, if I stand here, the bug will come over and attack Karin, whom it basically can't hurt. Hmm? Or was it the case that it can't hurt Karin at all? Yeah, that was right. Okay, Sylvie. Doing a bit of extra damage to Avaro. But otherwise, they're pretty evenly matched. Alright, let's get over there and kill it. Ah, uh, Eel isn't going to do it. That's right. It'll need to be Fia. She's the only one with the right capture skill. Yep. These black bugs can't actually hurt Karin. So he can attack him for free. Not that he's going to get very far. Bleh. Well, I need to get Avaro up to that top end, so... Hopefully this sucker can't kill him. Hmm. 
Now let's see, Earth, Earth. Yeah, Alvaro's a little bit resistant to Earth. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking of the firebugs. Alright. Capture time. Well. Soften him up first, then capture him. You guys bastard. Uh. Alright, the Shilfi is trying to track down something it can attack and has cut off our escape route. Well, let's head for the next pillar. Pro tip. Don't get in a fight with the Shilfi's with Cotton. That's a waste. Oh, something was still around. Hmm. This will do significant damage to you, but barring a critical hit, she'll be fine. All right, soften it up for real this time. She is getting ganged up on. Well, the Silphies are no threat to her. So once we capture this sucker, she's home free. Oh, hey, how about that? Don't need to capture these. Yeah, hell it doesn't. It hardly even matters what I attack them with. Critically, two damage. <laughs> Spirit's wings. Alright, finally some free motion. Jeez. This is Lightning Spirit's necklace. Didn't we just get one from her? Well, 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 what's this? You may recall this skill she got. This is a the ninja's heart or such. It lets her find secret rooms and open up locked chests and detect danger. Yeah, that must be dangerous then. Let's heal her up and because we're suckers, we're going to walk right up there and see what it is. Yep. That thing bites. 14 damage, gets 2 attacks. Well, heal should be alright. You want to know the truth? Hmm? Eel didn't get killed due to my carelessness over in the center stage. Eel got cared, killed due to my carelessness fighting this thing in my trial run. 
Karin won't take a lot of damage, but won't deal a lot of damage either. Oh, hey. Let's look at it. One star construct. Physical type. Useless. Well, let's march over there and see what it's like. Hmm. It doesn't have much life. It started with 12 life. Well, with the crazy amount of defense it has. It's got as much defense as those wind-swept rocks from the previous stage. Oh yeah, I healed her. So... Ah, why don't we see what this thing looks like? Ha! Ah, enjoy delicious stabby death. Gold dust. That's an item that lets you move through lightning elemental areas that would normally harm you or prevent you from moving. Now I decided to... Oh man, this was a bad idea. Okay, I was gonna have Ronin kill this thing, but she is weak against fire. Well, if it doesn't get a critical hit, she'll be fine. Oh, man. I screwed up, I screwed up, I screwed up. Now the reason I picked this square instead of one next to it is so it would use a ranged attack. But perhaps a melee attack would have been a better choice. Oh man, that hurt. No, not you, Alvaro. Alright, Fia can take care of this. Oh. So, even Ronrin will protect Fia. All right, we're almost done here. She actually looks a bit cute when she's beating the hell up. Oh, lightning! Enhancement zones. All right, thanks a bunch, Carter, and you're done. And not again. Huh. You know, it occurs to me that this is one of the few levels where there isn't a secondary deploy point, especially for a level this big. Well, let's murder this son of a bitch. Actually, I think, once we seal this and mine this, that's all of it. So, we're done here. Hmm. 
The Ronin is just so arrogant. Oh. I told myself I would try and get the other material and I forgot to do the prerequisite. Oh no, we've made a new ally so we need to go see another cutscene. <clears throat> so you may recall the meeting that Angel had with the ugly, stupid, punch him in the face elf guy. That was up here. And now we've come down to this place, Raifu no Unkai, which is the Dragon Tribe's territory. So there are various types of dragons in the Dragon Tribes. And they, in order to get to the God's Haze, you have to pass through their territory. And they're affiliated with the Fuchsia Church and entrusted with not letting anybody pass. Well, not letting any bad guys pass anyway. So, visiting these dragons is an angel clad in crimson armor. Remember her? Introduction time. Basically the same introduction she did before. Mikshuana. Oh, okay. So, she's dropped in without any announcement, so she apologizes if it inconveniences and says that she can come again later if it is better for them. And the reason for her saying this is because there are a lot of dragons, dragon tribe running around, and they're angry and they're wielding their weapons. This guy says he doesn't mind. The current situation is due to the fact that their chief is not present at the point at the moment. But if she is willing, he can well, he can field her whatever she's here for. Alright, this is Karumerg. So, she recognizes his name as the Absolute Ice Wielder. <clears throat> and uh, if this is it's someone as eminent as himself, that should be enough for her. Well, she's done her research. So, regarding the absence of the chief, this Shiu Kelto. Yes. In recent days, they lost him. This startles Mikshuana. Well, she's sorry for not having gotten that in her research. And she re expresses regret for their loss. Well, 
It can't be helped. They deliberately try to keep their interior matters away from outsiders. So, with the chief no longer with us, and he hadn't set up for a succession if he was gone, they are pretty well in a bit of a bind. This is because the various dragon tribes, sub-dragon tribes, will all be vying for the position of chief. In addition to the previous chief who was a lightning dragon, here in the Utility mountain range there are also red dragons, earth dragons, and shadow dragons, and others. So the reason why they're running around with weapons and stuff is due to potential conflicts. In any case, he says that pretty soon they should have who will be the new chief sorted out. They're presently in presently in some fortuitous negotiations. Well, Mikshuana offers what help she can because keeping people at peace is helps to keep the peace in the world, which is something she wishes for, and further, something that her god Masteria benefits from. <laughs> Well, she is impressively dutiful. So, he asks, why did she come? As it's unlikely to be simply for her greetings. So, Mikshana once asked this guy about the castle that is able to move. Okay, so yes, he has received reports about this. So it seems that that human, well, what that human said was true. To think that it still existed in this world. This human, as in that human, is specially highlighted. We'll get to that. So, she says she talked to the old guy, the head priest of the Fuchsia Church, and in regard to this said that this was one of the world's taboos. So she asks for details as to what this is and why it's a problem. Hmm. So that elder talked so much about it. Fine then, that is something that will be not told to us on screen. She can't believe her ears. Is that really true? Is that really true? 
移動可能な城塞としての機能が正常に働いているならば間違いはあるまい。Well, he hasn't confirmed it with his eyes. But if it is truly a castle that is able to move, then it is certainly true. まさしく世界に存在してはならぬものよ Once again, we're told that this is not something that should exist in the world. Hmm. If that's the case, then they'll have to get rid of it as fast as possible. He asks her. If she plans to make contact with the moving castle. Yep, but first she is going to report back to her church. In that case, he does have a request for her that she destroy this castle. She's a bit surprised that they aren't going to go do it themselves. Well, normally, if something like this happened within the Influs Kingdom, they would, the Dragon Tribes, would take care of it. But as you can see, with the Chief gone, they aren't able to move against it yet. But neither will Maz Teria allow this to continue. So. And she confirms it is as he says. If this is true, this is definitely something they can't leave alone. Go Irai, you get a mawari masta. Maz Teria no nani oite. Seiyan shu mikushu ana ga kono ikken. She accepts their request. In the name of Maz Teoria, she'll go and take care of it. Ah. So if everything is as their information dictates, she's going to confirm it and then deal with it. So you start with confirming, so you won't for forget to confirm it. You're very prudent. Alright, so... That's it for today. She's going to take off. So, this has drawn Maz Teria's eyes. He hopes it doesn't become something very troublesome. <laughs> Hmm, so that's it. That's the reason you interfered in our, our affairs, is it? Mage Gaidal. Remember him? That's Eol's former employer. Totally evil guy. And interfering in their affairs. He doesn't come out and say it, but I think it's likely that he killed 
the former dragon chief. Now, I told myself I would put down another item in the castle that would allow us to harvest this sunflower, but I forgot. Now that we've completed that map, we have another plot item to build. And then we're going to get out of here. Oh yeah, this one. Yes, yes, Sugida. So what we completed was the Seiten Ryo no Kusuri. It's a medicine for the spirit in the heavens. Sort of. Avaro takes a whiff of it and it doesn't seem to have any impression on him at all. He wonders if it will really work. The plan is to use it kind of like or in connection with the Yuiki Rod, the one that lets us recruit our Yuiki friends. So we use the knowledge involved in that to make this. A different name for this is the Fairy's Drink. Specifically an alcoholic drink. It seems like spirits and fairies will like it. So, Fia, who is deeply connected with spirits and fairies, should be able to have some reaction. And naturally, since Avaro isn't a fairy or a spirit, it's only natural he wouldn't have a, any effect. So, he calls Fia in. And asks her to have a drink. Jeez, I'm all trying to get her drunk in the middle of the day. But she's okay. Yep, she's misunderstanding things again. Alright, so this should have an effect on spirits and fairies. What do you think? Without any particular wariness, she has a sniff. Yeah, she is already drunk. So, it seems tasty. So she gets to drink it, right? Yeah, she gets ready to just down the whole thing. Uh, nope, stop, stop. Jeez, why? It seems so tasty. Nah, -uh. bad idea. Even though he just made it, he's going to put it away. Yeah, that has bad idea written all over it. So, that will cover us for today. Now, I think I've seen these scenes before, but... I get to show them to you next. And... I will see you next time, you two. Actually. Hmm. A bit leaning in the magic direction. Two stars. Wait, I just thought of something. Oh. Man, now I get to start all over with her. Ah.
maybe another time. Alright, YouTube, I will see you tomorrow.